The sinking of the Titanic remains the deadliest sinking of an ocean liner in history, and it wasn't until 1985 that the wreckage of the Titanic was found on the bottom of the ocean floor. Since then, there have been several salvage attempts to recover items from the ship. More than 5,000 items have been recovered so far. Some of the items were discovered in the weeks immediately following the sinking, while others were discovered years or even decades later. These range from people's possessions to parts of the ship, such as the Titanic deck bell that rang out moments before the ship hit the iceberg. Some of the items have been auctioned off for unbelievable prices, and it is crazy to think that there are many more artifacts concealed within the ship's wreckage that would fetch millions and millions if ever recovered. If you are fascinated by the Titanic and what explorers have found, join us today as we uncover 10 of the most amazing finds from the Titanic. Before we start, click on that subscribe button and like the video as it is the best way to help us grow as a channel. Several pieces of unique jewelry have been recovered from the Titanic. An interesting piece was discovered by Magellan, a company that carried out the first ever full-size digital scan of the ship, using two submarines that took 700,000 images of Titanic. The images included visuals of a necklace made from the tooth of a prehistoric shark or a megalodon encased in gold. The company is now using the passenger log of more than 2,200 passengers who were on board at the time it sank to locate the owner of the jewelry. Meanwhile, in 2012, an exhibition of priceless jewelry from Titanic went on display in the U.S. Premier Exhibitions, which has thousands of Titanic artifacts, showed diamond and gold rings and other jewels that are believed to have belonged to some of the first-class passengers on board the Titanic when it sank. Out of the wreckage of the Titanic also came a woman's 15-karat rose gold and silver bracelet with the name Amy encrusted in diamonds. It might have belonged to Amy Stanley, a third-class passenger and one of the only Amys on board. You may recall the steamy scene from the Titanic movie, when Rose and Jack shared an intimate romantic moment inside a Renault luxury car aboard the ship. Although the scene was fictional, the car's presence on the Titanic is an historical fact. There was a Renault owned by first-class passenger William Carter which was destroyed when the Titanic sank. Interestingly enough, the Renault Type CB Coupe de Ville is the only automobile known for certain to have been on the Titanic. Both Carter and his family survived the sinking, and he later made a $5,000 insurance claim for his brand new automobile. Historians say the Renault was held in a cargo hold on the front of the ship, which remains mostly intact on the ocean floor now. While the value of the actual vehicle is unknown, in 2003, a similar Renault was sold at an auction for $269,000. The real version, if ever recovered, would surely fetch millions. This car is one of only two ever built and is steeped in history, making it a must-see for car enthusiasts and Titanic fans alike. An exact replica of this car can be seen at the Volo Auto Museum in Illinois. Ever wondered what the guests ate on the Titanic? The Titanic was regarded as the finest restaurant afloat, but it's just not that. The menus on the Titanic are symbolic of the class differences that existed around this time. The Titanic served an abundance of extravagant dishes to its first-class passengers. They had access to a whole host of different kinds of delicacies such as eggs argenté, consommé fermier, and chicken a la Maryland. Even though the second-class menus were slightly less fancy, they still had delicious dishes like roasted turkey with cranberry sauce, lamb with mint sauce, baked haddock, and there was also plum pudding and wine jelly. On the other hand, the third-class menu seemed more like slop for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Their dishes included porridge, rice soup, potatoes, and bread and butter. It is known that a first-class passenger named Abraham Lincoln Salomon rescued a menu from the last first-class lunch served aboard the Titanic. The menu lists dishes like grilled mutton chops and custard pudding that were available for passengers to eat on April 14, 1912. 
This menu was sold for a whopping $88,000 in September 2015 at an online auction. Undersea explorer Robert Ballard, who first discovered the Titanic wreck, spotted and photographed a doll's head during one of his dives. Ballard didn't pick it up or record its position, so no one is sure exactly where it is. Although director James Cameron incorporated the doll's head into the movie, which did include shots actually filmed on or around the wreck, the particular shot in the movie was recreated with a modern prop. It is unclear whether it is the same doll's head, but there was a doll's head that was recovered from the wreck and auctioned off. It is believed to have been passenger Eva Hart's favorite doll, whom she had to leave behind when she fled the sinking ship. The doll was found 41 years ago, 2,000 meters underwater halfway across the Atlantic, by Captain Abel Federico Nogueras of the shipping company Argenbel, and he kept her for the next 15 years until his death. When passenger Eva Hart died in 1996, never having seen her doll again, she was happy in the knowledge that it had been found. The doll's body remains missing, the hair has fallen off her head and her face is covered with barnacles, but despite her spine-chilling appearance that resembles something out of a Stephen King film, her historical value means she is likely to fetch an eye-watering sum at an auction. In the Titanic movie, you may recall the sad scene when a couple of musicians stayed back in the sinking ship and played music. Interestingly enough, this scene was based on real events. Bandleader Wallace Hartley gathered his seven fellow musicians to play music to calm the panicked people on board. Survivors of the ship reported that the band played upbeat music, including popular comic songs of the late 19th and early 20th century. In their final moments, the band played the hymn, Nearer My God to Thee. Sadly, only three of the musicians' bodies were recovered. When bandleader Hartley's body was found, it is reported that he was still carrying his violin in a leather case. Afterwards, the violin was given to Hartley's fiancée, Maria Robinson. It passed through some other hands before being rediscovered in 2006. Among the clues that led to its authentication is an engraving on the violin that says, For Wallace, on the occasion of our engagement, from Maria. The sad story behind his violin is that Maria gifted it to Hartley before their engagement, but there never was a wedding because Hartley was on the Titanic and never returned. In October 2013, the violin was sold at an auction by Henry Aldridge and Sons in Wiltshire for £900,000, the highest ever paid for an artifact from the Titanic. This violin serves as a powerful symbol of the lives that were lost, and the heroism of those who tried to help others in the face of such a tragic event. Aside from the violin, a piece of sheet music for the song Put Your Arms Around Me Honey was found which was played by the musicians on the sinking ship. One of the most important and historical artifacts found was the Titanic deck bell. It was rung three times by lookout Frederick Fleet just minutes before the Titanic crashed into the iceberg that eventually sunk it. The bell was recovered in 1987 and is on display at the Titanic Museum in Massachusetts. While it might not be worth as much as some of the artifacts discovered, it is a very important part of the Titanic story. During the early 20th century, pianos by Steinway and Sons, were filling concert halls from Europe to the United States with brilliant sounds and some of the most memorable musical triumphs of their time. There were five Steinway grand pianos on the ship, three of which were reserved for first-class passengers. Underwater footage of the wreck shows a still-standing and mostly intact grand piano, but it is slowly disintegrating due to microbial activity. Two Model R uprights and a Model B drawing room grand piano selected to entertain first-class passengers were the zenith of 20th century piano culture. All three were art case pianos, meaning they had been ordered rough or unfinished from the Steinway factory, and then finished by master craftsmen who added a level of detail rarely seen in factory-finished models. As the Titanic was designed to impress, the pianos played their part to appeal aesthetically to the great expectations of the contemporary world's wealthy travelers. 
A number of timepieces, which stopped shortly before the Titanic went down, have since been recovered from the wreckage and fetched huge sums at auctions. One was a gilded pocket watch of one of the ship's victims, John Chapman, who was traveling with his wife Lizzie. What makes this so unique is the fact that it's literally frozen in time. The watch is stuck at 1.45 a.m., which is around the time the ship became submerged underwater. A second pocket watch was found, and it belonged to postal clerk Oscar Scott Woody, who was working aboard the passenger liner when it struck that fateful iceberg. Woody and his fellow mail clerks reportedly died trying to save sacks of letters from the flooded storage room to no avail. He had just celebrated his 44th birthday aboard the ship. Some 110 years after, Woody's pocket watch sold for $116,000 at a Henry Aldridge and Sons auction in England in 2022. Henry Aldridge and Sons has developed a reputation for collecting, authenticating, and auctioning vintage finds from the Titanic. In 2017, the auction house sold a fur coat owned by a first-class stewardess for $178,000 and a letter by passenger Oscar Holverson for nearly $150,000. Also, a list of first-class passengers sold for $48,000, while a first-class menu featuring plover on toast went for $60,000. Other highlights included an elegant dessert plate that realized just over $23,000 and in a La Carte section of the menu that achieved more than $27,000. This is further proof that Titanic still piques interest even a century after sinking. Tell us what you think about these finds in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.